5,360 pound uh, KZ Coyote Rock Climber Hybrid Toy Hauler Lightweight Trailer here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, there's a number of guys that build things like this. They are limited in production. They, they're very much a niche product, but they're really fun to look at. They're really cool to talk about. So you've got a lot of different lengths in play here. So let me try to cover a couple things. Uh, we've got about a 22 foot box back here. Uh, we've got the hybrid front and rear beds, so you actually, once you have these open in terms of functional interior floor space, you're getting a lot closer to 30 feet. We've got, what is that, about an 8x8 eight eight, um, cargo deck up front here, something in that nature. I can put a hard tape measure to it, just give us a call. I like how there's a lot of D-ring tie-downs around here. Now the, the silver grates that you see uh, around the sides, those are actually your um, loading planks. So if you got a couple four-wheelers or sport bikes or something, um, you know, those are the way that you get them up and down on the cargo rack. They also have a uh, elevated front, um, like either cargo or generator rack on the front, which is very handy if you got a little portable suitcase generator. By and large, this is in fantastically well-kept shape. The folks uh, camped a lot, had a good time. The uh, biggest thing they did was they just decided they wanted to get away from the hybrid and go to a fully hard side camper. They bought another toy hauler, 27RR Grey Wolf here at Halet RV. Look at the tire package on this. It's got that, you know, real rugged extreme look. It's got that, you know, cool looking off-road look to it. Um, the uh, the bed ends look like they're in fantastic shape. I see a Max Air roof cover sticking out there for the uh, bathroom so you can, when you're, especially if you're off the beaten path, you don't always want to run your AC, you know, you run your generator dry doing that if you do it constantly. Um, so it is, it's cool to have the, uh, <laughs> got a duck under this, pardon me. It's cool to have that extra uh, cooling method there for you. Power awning, push a button, you know, get your patio shade going on here. A little cooking station under the awning too, never hurt anyone's feelings. I do like the look of those tires. I don't know that they're necessarily better than anything else, but wow, do they have a good look to them. Uh, triple entry step too, I expected a double, so the triple step was a welcome change. Just, uh, you know, without that triple step, it'd be really tall climbing in. Now this is 100% carpetless, which is really cool. You've got this uh, sort of, well, diamond plate looking, but um, you know, mostly rubberized flooring. And uh, once again, it has that real rugged, you know, extreme sort of look, you know. You're, you're buying the whole camper, but you only need the edge of your seat kind of extremeness. Although, you know, it's, it's sharp and it's high contrast and it looks good in here, but it's not over the top. They did a good job keeping it in check. The cabinets are, are like the furniture, is very vivid the furniture jumps right out at you but the cabinetry is is simple and plain but very effective i mean there are some really big cabinets in here that i really like cool thing i noticed with their hybrid beds is it kind of folds and tucks up and wraps up on itself so that it's easy to uh uh manage when you're putting it away that is cool now the bathroom over here nice bathroom we do have a shower with shower wall surround paneling which not a lot of hybrids always have with a skylight and a power vent fan instead of just one or the other. They did a good job in here. Um, the color of the, the wood tones is sort of like a clay or a taupe. It's not something I've seen used a lot in the business. It does look good in here though. They did a good job with the color contrast. Good lower storage below the um, sink there as well. The uh, kitchen counter, I mean the, the counters, the tabletops, look at how those things are still gleaming. This was kept in extremely good shape. The folks really, really, really took excellent care of it. And now that is a monster of a U-Dinette. That is a, a true six-person dinette, which most U-Dinettes are not. But I mean, this is a big, bulky sucker. This is like a throne up here. That can fold down into an additional bed space as well. Do we have a full-size roof AC up here? Um, the uh, uh, closets on both sides of your front bed, they add a little bit of privacy and they obviously add a good chunk of storage. Of course, it would help if I held that door open so you'd actually be able to, you know, see in here. And uh, the one on the other side kind of has a little shoe caddy built right in there as well. Uh, what is nice is you don't have the cable bed supports or anything, or pardon me, you do have cable bed supports so you do not have poles to work with. Um, under the hybrid beds. These are fun guys. You can do anything you want and because they're not in an enclosed garage You can put really tall wacky goofy cargo and stuff on here So it's something that has just a ton of use. Give us a call 800-256-5196 Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping everybody